Good morning everybody. It's a bit loud out here today. Seems to me there's lots of people going past. I just thought we'd start our water in the garden because look what's down here. I'm just going to bring you slowly over. Hopefully there you can see our little snowdrops going on. Pond doesn't seem to be doing a little lot there anyway. But if you come this way, I'm going to go gently, slowly, hopefully. Look at all of this. We can have hundreds and hundreds of daffodils anytime soon. Really cool. There's loads of birds doing stuff out here as well at the minute. Loads of them. I don't know if you can hear a few of them. But it is very noisy today out here. I think we've just had a street cleaner go past, which is what's making most of the row. There we are. Look, this is all budding up, the lilac. All nicely buds. That's all good. And then over here, look, we've got all our bird feeders and things going on. I won't get too close because I don't want to disturb them more than we have to. There's bird boxes everywhere. The camellia down there is looking really good. This is our hazel. That's all cool. And we've got more, we've got crocuses and things around the bottom of that. It's really good. Now here, it's looking a bit yuck for a minute. It's the pond. And in the pond we have the fishes. Look. Great big fat fishes, can you see? Look. Oh, he was supposed to be a golden orf, but I don't think he really is a golden orf. He's very, very big for a golden orf. And look, all these different little... There's a big one moving around under there. I don't know that you can see all this. But they're all starting to move about a bit, so this is nice. This is a good thing. And they came up the other day as if they wanted food. We didn't give them any, but... They're all starting to move about like they're coming now in the studio. It's all wrong. Good. Yes. The mahonia is now finished over there. Bird table. It's, it's all looking like spring's ready to do its thing, which is basically why I brought you out here. And I know that actually there's a frog in there somewhere waiting to do what frogs do. Oh, look at that thing coming past again. We'll just move round the back. This is the untidy bit. I always, I hate this bit, but there we are. Needs must and all that. And we don't live at 110, eh? That just happens to be on our dustbin from our previous house. Ah, right, look, look. Daffodillies. And, and I think they're tulips. I don't know. There's so much planted round here, I don't know anymore. But more da all these things, I can hear birds out here. It's much quieter out here. There we are. That actually might have been not only just the road cleaner, I think that might have been one of the um, tractors and things doing. There's a pussycat in the window there. I don't know if you can see. Let's do that. Look, there's Tom. Tom, it's a good boy. Right, so we're going to my cupboard. Now, as ever, you have to ignore the mess is that look, look here he is there's a thomas come to see us <sighs> so much so much so much in here that's the that's the view that you're used to isn't it let me just there we go we put you back to how you normally are yeah so there, there's the view and look oh, loads all sorts of new stuff we got all sorts of, of down there. Oh, it's, it's just lovely. Right, okay, I'm going to turn you around and try and set you up on the table so that I can go around and show you properly today's um, block from Witter Quilt. Hey, I'm just putting it on the table now. I'm going to do that so that I can come around there and talk to you. Right. I'm on my way. Oh, and this is weird because I've just got the back of the... Hello. I can't tell which bits of me you can see and you can't because I've just got the back of the phone today as opposed to a screen seeing what's going on. Never mind, eh? It's all good. It's all good. Right. So, where's the quilt eight? Um, we had a nice easy one the other day, didn't we? Which was just that one there. All right. I feel like a weather girl now today. That was our first one, which was a 16 inch, a little bit more complicated. Well, yesterday I had a real bright idea. I thought, 
I'm in my book, my, my Bible book, and I've I've got out a pattern, and it's called Chain Link Quilt or Lynx Quilt. That's Tom. He wants to go out, but as you can see, just he can get out the window if he wants. So he can go that way. Um, yeah, right. So this is Chain Links Quilt. All right, which is basically two inch squares and half triangles, two inch half triangles. Um, in the actual original pattern, they, they've got these as could be larger, if you wanted, joined blocks. So I've put dotted lines on the pattern. Don't be fooled by this because it's not equal. Um, I think what happens is when you put your next block to it, it will work along really nicely. So this is going to be one of those old fashioned blocks that work really well on a big quilt. Yeah. Excuse me. But I'm only going to do one block. <laughs> um, I've put you lots of little notes on this side on this one, because actually um, cut your pieces out first and make sure you like your layout. All right. Very important for this one, because there is just so much going on here. Um, and I always say join it in strips and then join strip to strip to strip. So if you do all your half to square triangles ready to go in their place, then you can see what do you like, what don't you like, does it work, doesn't it work. I landed up very purple by accident yesterday. Um, this is one of my, my do as I say, don't do as I do moments, all right? Because what I actually did was I started, I thought, well, I'll do the centre row first so that I can build from that and see how does it look, yeah? So um, I've used big square in the middle because, again, I've got that lovely fabric that works nice and bright and large. And then I've worked outwards. So let me show you. This is what I got. It's become very purple, I feel. Um, but that's fine. It's all big and bright and lovely. So I started in the centre and worked out. And then as I'm working out, I'm thinking, oh, does that look right or not? Oh, I'm not sure. So I landed up joining the middle square, as it were, and then adding on the sides and adding on the bottom. All right. And then I put these in as fillers. Really, they should have been purple, but I just felt actually that's probably too much purple for me. I like purple. I really, really like purple. But you know what? It's a bit much even for me. So I just put something a little bit darker in the corners to match the daisies. All right. Um, so, yeah, so there we are. That's mine. But you can see it's not the same both ways. All right. So don't don't be thinking and be fooled. Oh, that's all square and it's the same each side because it's not. It's two and it's two, if that makes sense. You can see that clearly with the yellow and the black going on in the middle, which is why I use the yellow and black in the middle so that you can see it. Because I thought, no, if we're going to do a traditional block, we'll do it as they've got it in the block, in, in the book. All right. So there we go. So that finishes at 16 inches square. And I have to say that I did give it a bit of welly with some starch and iron when I finished it because there were so many joins there. All right. So do, do take your time. Nest all of your seams. Make sure they're all butted up really well together. Pin things from the centre. All right. So pin things from the centre out each time you're joining yeah um accuracy that's all i can keep saying to you for these traditional blocks they need to be accurate and and that goes from the start from when you're cutting or you're stitching together you're pinning and getting all yeah needs to be as accurate as you can make it otherwise your points are not going to look good i'll show you the back of mine it's not too bad I've got a few seams that landed up doing strange things, but for the most part, they're pretty flat. It's not, not bad at all. I'm quite pleased with that one. I think he's going to go in with that quite well. Hopefully you can see that because I can't tell where the camera is. I'll come this side as well. If I do that, then you can see that too, can't you? The she, like that. I think it will be fine. I really do. Ah, so that's block three of Witter Quilt 8. Fabulous. So what else is going on? What else is going on for you? What can I tell you? There's a few things that I can't tell you about yet. I've been, was on about that the other day. They're all progressing. Um, new designs, new stuff happening. Um, that'll be further on probably end of April, May. You'll get to hear about that properly. So that's all good. Uh, busy. <laughs> I've been um, binding lots of quilts. 
this this is my my sewing bowl that i put all my little bits and pieces of rubbish in there and that goes in and out of the house with me as i'm working on things so um i've been busy doing indoors as well certainly through all that horrible wind and rain and stuff so much more peaceful in here today it was so windy wasn't it and in here i think you can probably tell from my last video it gets so loud and buffety and it, it starts to get very um i was agitated by it does that make sense it, it had me all pent up and i'm not sure quite what or why and and there was no reason for it it was just the weather and the noise and the continual so today it's so peaceful and it's lovely i'm back to my happy little cupboard i do like my cupboard mm. so there we go so i've been doing a bit of that indoors when it's been too horrible um and a load of a whole load of design stuff we're, we're still doing sunday specials so do have a little look on a sunday um whatever time i get up on sunday i'll put it on so it could be anywhere between seven o'clock and nine o'clock in the morning um so i i prep the day before and then i put it on first thing in the morning for you and it's only on for the day that is your special offer for the day and once it's gone it's gone um it you know it will go back up to normal price or whatever depending what it is uh any ideas of what you fancy this week mm, that'd be good uh, it started off as a lovely idea, but then each week I'm thinking, oh, what can I put together for people? I don't know what you want. Tell me what you want. If I can do it, I'll do it. <sighs> there we are. I think that's probably it for the day, don't you? So um, that's going to keep you busy for quite a while. I'd hoped to witter yesterday, but it took me longer to make than, than I'd intended because I was messing around with this colour placement and things. Um, so it did take me a lot longer to make set yourself aside some time peaceful quiet and do that one all right so three things to say isn't there um yeah bit of exercise well you had a quick lap of the garden <laughs> which wasn't anything very much at all really especially since i've only got my slippers on it's a bit boggy down there and i've probably got wet cold feet here but never mind um so a little bit of exercise is needed up and down i, I was watching telly earlier which is very unlike me first thing in the morning um, I don't know which, don't ask me which program, I haven't got a clue. One of the um, Strictly dancers was doing exercises with everybody. And she had some brilliant ones. We were just getting up and down and out of chairs on one leg and two legs. And, and that was really cool. So if you can't do an awful lot, that was brilliant. And I discovered that I can get up and down with two. I can get up and down with my left leg. I can't do my right leg because of my back. I really can't do it. No matter how I tried, I was in a bit. So there we go. That was interesting. Hmm. First thing. So exercise. A bit of tidying. Well, mine, as you could see just now as we came in, really needs it. It's not happening there because I'm busy creating and doing. I'm enjoying myself. And then there's the be lovely. Yeah. Talk to everybody. Where's all your friends? Are they OK? How's everybody doing? Are their jabs up to date? How do you know what? It's all getting a little bit more exciting now, isn't it? Um, we can see maybe an end to all of this. I don't know that we'll have an end to witters. It depends how many people want or don't want. We'll just carry on for a minute. Mm, that'd be good. Um, but do... Do contact everybody, all your friends. Are they okay? I've been doing a few weirder contacts this week for myself over the weekend. Um, a few people that I've really not spoken to or seen in a very long while. Um, who normally I would only see a couple of times a year maybe. But I've made contact and we've had a chat. Made sure everybody's all right. Had photos, go backwards and forwards. All good, all good. So do make sure everybody's all right. And it could be... People you that you think are perfectly all right and lovely, yeah, no, no, they're okay. They might really appreciate a bit of a hello or a postcard or a something, yeah. I had a card. Did I tell you about this the other week? I don't know if I told you. Last week. I put it on my Facebook page. Look. Look, 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 look. I was so pleased. That's a, a handmade, hand-pressed flowers. That's just gorgeous. That was from Jean. Um, just, yeah, a little thank you fabulous i love it so that's now got its own home in here as well lovely little things like that brighten your day made my day no end that really did receive from that so there we go oh, um, i don't class myself as being particularly affected um emotionally by these lockdowns but that so made my day so what's it going to do for others yeah all good all good so that's it then really have a lovely day um happy stitching shout if you need anything i'll put photos over on the facebook page patchwork witch wings um and be lovely